Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and today I want to teach you how to send an email with Python. Today I'm going to show you how to send a normal text email and how to add an attachment when you're sending an email using the Python programming language. So first, we'll learn how to just send a text email. What that means is that there will be no formatting in the email. There's no, be no bolding or italics or any of that. It'll just be a regular text email. To do that, one popular method is to use the SMTP lib module, which comes with Python. To make it work, you need to set your host. And this is usually whichever host you're using for your internet. So if you're using like Mediacom or Comcast, they'll provide you with an SMTP server name that you can use to send email uh, using Outlook or Thunderbird. Um, it's all detailed on their, on their support website. And so it'll be something like smtp.comcast.com or mediacom or whatever it's called. Some um, other types of domains like Yahoo and Google don't support SMTP or that you have to pay to add the SMTP support and then you can use it. So those may not work for you. You definitely need, to, you almost certainly need to use your ISP or net service provider to get that information. Uh, next we set the subject test email from Python. We can say who it's to and who it's from. Now this does enable us to spoof an email, which is unfortunate, but I mean, we're, we are scripting this, so it just comes with it. Do not spoof emails, it's not, it's not cool, but you, I mean, it, it allows it. Okay, text. You could, add, you could do this with a multi-line string if you wanted to do a, like a paragraph and kind of have some formatting in there. And by formatting, I mean uh, like creating a template so that you want to like insert dear Mike, dear uh, Toby, dear, you know, whoever. And you could just have use F strings to format it or what, ha what have you. But you're not going to be able to add like the bold or italics or add images or any of that. Finally, we come to this body part. And the body is a little bit different in that we're going to use join with slash r slash n which basically gives a carriage return to each line. We're going to add the from, the to, and the subject, and just a little blank, and then some text, which is the body. Or, it's technically the body. The body includes everything, anyway. Then we get down here to the server, and we connect to our host. And then we send the email from, to. Note that to is a list. That allows you to send email to multiple people, so if we could add additional addresses here that we want to send to, and then the body of the email. And of course we quit at the end, so we close the, the connection. Up here in the host section, SMTP host, you can add a username and password if your SMTP host requires them, which most do, it's just not shown here. All right, so let's continue and learn how to add an attachment. This is actually quite a bit more complex because we need to use the email module, and I actually can't fit all of it all that I code into uh, one slide. So we'll jump over here to my code editor and take a look at it. Okay, so we import encoders, mime text, mime base, mime multipart, and format date. Then we have this function where we're going to pass in our subject, body text, the number of email addresses, and whatever file we're going to attach. Next, we add a header. It tells us the content disposition and what file we're attaching. And we're going to stick that in there. That yeah, comes from file to attach right there. That's the file name. Next we use the host just like before, the from address just like before, and then we get to the new stuff, which is the MIME multipart. Uh, MIME actually lets you do HTML emails too. So technically we could update this code so that we can do formatted emails now. But I'm not going to show that because that will make this code much longer. You can look that up yourself as a challenge. So my multi-part. To make this work, um, you set the from address, the subject, and the date. And I'm just going to grab the current current local time. Um, then we can attach uh, the body text, which is passed in. And then we do a join with a comma and a space to all of the emails that we passed in that we're going to send this, this email to. Next comes the interesting part about the attachment. To create an attachment, we need to use MIME base. 
this is, I'm going to attach a binary file. We do octet stream. And then I, I think you usually use octet stream for pretty much everything, actually. And then we're going to use the try accept to read the file in and grab the data. Um, note that I'm not chunking it because uh, most files should be small that you're going to attach or they're not going to send by email anyway because most email providers will have some limit on it, whether it be 10 megabytes or 50 megabytes. To get much higher than that, you usually have to use a uh, file uploading service like Dropbox or um, one of the other large ones. I think Firefox has a system too that they were using for a while. Anyway, once we have the file, we can do attachment.setPayload to the data, which is the file data, the binary data we just got. Then we encode it to base64, add our header from above, and then attach it to our message. If anything bad happens, we print out a message that says, hey, this didn't work, and we exit. Then we set our emails to two emails, and then we, uh, we still use SMTP Lib to do our, our actual emailing part. Here again, you can add the username and password if you need to. Then we do from email or from address, the emails, which are the email addresses, a list of email addresses, just like before. And then we turn a message as string. So what that does is it converts this message, uh, my multi-part object, into a string that uh, SMTP Lib will understand. And finally, we quit. And down here, I just call it. So I created a list with a single item in it of email addresses, a subject, some body text, and the path to the file that I want to attach. And then I just call it. And there you have it. That's how you add an attachment to an email. All right, so today I taught you how to send a, e a text email and how to add an attachment. And you can use that, that same code in the second example to start formatting your text if you looked more deeply into the email module. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.